Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. In the last part, we got to hear the past of Saturn, uh, the lost underworld. Now, let's go engage. What is going on? Everything is shaking. Oh dear. I have a red cap! I'm a gentleman! You cannot do this to me! Oh, I'm on there. Oh, well, this is quite horrifying. A very horrifying revelation. Pokey! You've arrived at a past as well, huh? Ness, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey! I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. But you guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction. But it'll look... But I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gigas. Gigas will be stronger and more a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gigas, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gigas. No, Gigas is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself. Eh? Well, good sir, why don't I do disprove this fact? Because I, the gentleman Captain Kibble, will become the embodiment. I mean, evil. Which he could not control on his own. He is the evil power. Fine then. Let's engage with Pokey and mm, Gigas. Hmm, that's quite predic a predicament. Right, let's do this, my friends. Let's open up the battle with a PSI rock and beta Paula. Put up a shield, PSI shield for magic. Jeff, you do your thing with your gun. We want to take out the heavily armed Pokey. I don't even know what the hell he's driving there. It looks scary, and I want one. Just try PSI rock and beta. Yep, here we go. Don't tell me. No, she didn't die instantly, that's good, because I would have screwed a lot of things over. <laughs> Christ, my offense went down, I- that's not good. Because I rock and beta! Didn't work on Gigas, that's fine, we just want to hurt Pokey. There, shields all around. Oh god, the music's intensified dramatically, dear viewers! I- I always hate that, it just jumps you randomly. Good job, Jeff. Oh, God. Okay, Paula, there you go. Let's see, PSI freeze. Gamma! Jeff, you do your thing. Pooh, I need you to heal Paula. I mean, you're out of PP? Oh, that's not good. That means you're gonna be fighting with mostly hand to hand combat. Yeah, use your PSI rock and. Didn't do anything, did it? That's what you give her being a jerk. Ow! Pokey really wants my blood. He's solidified, yeah, Pokey's not much of a threat. As far as I'm aware, anyway. He certainly can prove me otherwise, knowing him. Paul, I need you to do another shield, please. I know it's wasting your PP. Christ, I should've gotten one of those. Okay, Jimpu, go in. Another PSI rock in this is an alpha, though. Come on, we gotta use Buzzbuzz, what Buzzbuzz taught us. We have to defend each other. Because I rock it. Beta, I have enough PP to manage an army. Ooh. Ooh, that was good. Fire me. Okay, I need to heal Paula up again. I accidentally hit Gigas one too many times there, I think. Paula, switch to lighter because I breathe betas. And Jeff, I want you to use your heavy bazooka once again. Who you can't really do anything beyond attack. Here it comes! The shield should hold for another few attacks from the psychic powers. Hmm, <laughs> that hurt Pooh bad, but it'll be fine if even if he dies, I can revive him. We almost got Pokey gone. Here you go, Pooh. Paul, I need you to fire the freeze on him. Jeff, fire the heavy bazooka once again. Pooh, you can't really do anything but basic attack. That's all you can do, and it's kind of sad, really. Okay, the shields are working. Fuck, I couldn't get him up. He's lowering our offense dramatically. Yeah, he's gone. I understood you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, if it's... If it... 
Well, it is a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gigas. You must feel pretty stupid to keep running without even knowing what Gigas looks like. If you were to ever see Gigas, you'd be so petrified with fear, you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So do you want me to turn off the Devil's Machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. Pokey, don't do it! Fuck. Oh. So isn't this terrified? I'm terrified too. I really, it's just red swirls, good sir. Gigas cannot think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he is doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his, by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. That sounds stupid. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> you you will be just another meal to him. Yep, Pokey runs away and leaves you to engage with Gigas alone. Right, Ugh, I gotta get the other... I gotta get who up. What am I doing? Is anyone... I got a horn of life, yeah. I might waste my time when I know it won't work. Okay, let's try a PSI freeze beta on him. Jeff, just basic attack. This. You cannot gas the tr form of Gigas' attack. Yeah, we can't grasp the power of that. Just imagine he just blows into a horn and it revives Pooh. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry, dear viewers, but just reading that, Je he dodged quickly. What kind of bullshit? Ugh, <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, let's see. Do you have anything, Paula? I want you to switch to the Night Pendant. Jeff, shoot him with the Heavy Bazooka. Pooh, do you have anything you can use? You have those secret herbs on standby. Yes, you cannot grasp the true power of Gigas' attack! I solidified. I need to heal myself, though. Yeah. Right, I need to heal myself. Pooh can revive him. Keep attacking, Paula. Pooh, I need you to, you know, revive Jeff. Yes, you cannot grasp the true form of Gigas' attack! Hmm. There was a holdout now. I switched Pullet and a Night Pendant for other reasons, but you'll see soon. Right, let's see. Life up. Damn up on him. Pullet, freeze beta again. Come on, Jeff. Fire the heavy bazooka. No, Jeff, no. Play your your trumpet. The defense shower. Pooh, you gotta defend. You cannot grasp the true form of Gigas' attack. Ow. He's shooting out electrical damage now. Yep. Ah, damn it, he's dead again. I try to heal him, and what happens? He's dead. Okay, Pooh, get healed. Paula, do your thing. Mm, Pooh, you just do your thing, too. You need to get him up. Here he comes. Mm, I gave Paula the Franklin badge, but it appears he's hitting everyone but her. There we go. One damage. Come on, you can do better than that. Okay, everyone, you're all basically attacking while I'm healing. We're at that point, dear viewers. Fire the heavy bazooka. Pooh, you gotta attack too. He just keeps saying, Ness. It's so hard to believe we're at the final area now, dear viewers. It feels like I barely started this, but I know it's been a lot longer. It's time for me to show my move, my Rock and Omega, because we all have to work together to beat this enemy. Our friends, after all. Here he comes. He's hitting. He seems to only target one person. Damn, Paul, a good smash. PSI rocking. Omega! Oh, uh, a lot. What are we even hitting? Just hitting the darkness, it seems like. I can't go wasting all my PP on one move, though, so we gotta be careful. Jeff, keep playing that defense shower. We need you to play your song. Here he comes. It didn't work. Who came numb? Damn. Yeah, keep playing that song, Jeff. Play the defense trumpet of life as you know it. This seems kind of. This sounds funny. It's like he's just playing the trumpet constantly. He's like, <laughs> and he just keeps raising the defense. Keep saying my name, Gigas. Keep saying it. Come on. Keep saying it. I dare you. Say it again. Yes. Here he comes. Another attack. Hit Jeff. Hit Jeff again, okay. Attacked. Uh oh. Pokey! <laughs> you must really be at the end of your rope. 
In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of the universe. <laughs> That's so sad, I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. No, if that was the case, you'd be screaming and running around. Do you want to scream for help in the air in the dark? <laughs> Why don't I call your mommy, Ness? Say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened, I think I'm gonna wet my pants. I know you're a telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You're pathetically weak here with your so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> don't worry, your suffering will be over soon. You don't know the true meaning of suffering. You know what the worst case of suffering is? The relief! And you'll never learn that, chubby chops! You never knew what true torture was. You only knew one thing and one thing only. Winning. And you always just wanted to join the winning side. And that's one thing that pisses me off. He will never win! I'm so sad, Ness. You cannot grasp the attack. It didn't work. And proof up a little strange. Maze have only worked on him. Hmm, Pooh, you just hit her. But yeah, Pokey never seemed to learn that. The only reason he can't win is because he just keeps trying to join a team he assumes will win. Which is a big mistake. There you go, Pooh. Ah, there you go. Ness. Here he comes again. It didn't work. I don't know why Pooh keeps crying and all that. Right, then. I'm gonna heal Paula up with a beta because she needs it. Everyone else, you know your drills. Me and Jeff will go down fighting, I can tell you that. It hurts. It hurts. Huh. Are you a Cabadath? Heavy Bazooka. Okay, here we go, my comrades. We have come so far. We've been through a lot together. We must engage with the enemy. I feel good. You cannot gasp the true form of his attack. I solidified. Okay, then. Okay, Jeff, you solidified too. Yeah. I'll heal everyone up. Time to get them up. I need Paula especially, though. No, not really. I need Jeff more than her now. I feel good. Here he comes again, swinging. It didn't work. There we go. Keep attacking. Fire the bazooka. Let me heal up, uh, Jeff now. Paula, you must do this for us. Now fire the heavy bazooka. Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please give us strength. If it is possible, please, somebody, help us. that Mr. Saturn felt a new, startling feeling they had never experienced beforehand, and they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. It's quite beautiful, the Saturns of Saturn Valley, Dr. Andonuts and Apple Kid. Come on! Gaius defense became unstable! Oh dear! He's becoming quite enraged! He's losing control! Jeff fired the heavy bazooka. Keep it up, Jeff! Paula, keep doing it. We always engage with the enemy. It hurts, Ness. It hurts, Ness. Ugh, grrr. Oh. Can I grasp the true form of his attack? Ness could not stop crying. It didn't work on the others, though. Pooh! How'd he die? Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. I'm gonna. I'm just crying over here. Suddenly, one of the Runaway Five felt something stop him, and he prayed fervently for the safety of Ness and his friends. I love the Runaway Five now that they're touring in summers even more. Back here in the fight we are. 48 HP of damage to Gigas. Up I missed. At least Jeff's able to fight, but jeez, I don't know what killed Pooh. What am I doing? I have a horn of life, don't I? Yep. 
Okay, uh, yeah, keep attacking, Jeff. Oh, wait, go back, friends. Hurts, Ness. You know, grass the true form of his attack again. It didn't hit anyone. The Franklin badge deflected the lightning. Sorry, Paula, but I had to give you that for that reason. Right, now I'll heal myself of this crying problem of mine. I'm sorry, I cry a lot when I get in these intense moments. It's so beautiful. I'm so sad, Ness. I feel good. Oh, yeah! You can have grasp the true form of his attack. Ow. It hit me this time. That's Ow. Jeff. Feeling beta. I'm not crying. Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please give us strength. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. Paula's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends, oh, and the children of their two of Tucson. The town we aided her to save her from being kidnapped from the blue blue cultist. The happy happy cultist. Good job, Jeff. These defenses are weakening. This is great. Keep firing that bazooka, Jeff. Ness, 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 I like the NES too, buddy. Guy, yeah, I, I know you want to play Super Mario Bros. 3 with me. Come on, we can do it later. Ah, oh, girl! Oh! My blood gamma. Harry Bazooka. Paul prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. We'll be fine. Oh, dear. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. Ah, oh, the Winters people. Tony, who aided us in our own escape, and Bubblegum Monkey was so gracious to there. 999 damage to Gigas. Right, engage with the enemy. At this point, all we can do is just keep firing. Yes! Oh, yeah! Yeah! You cannot grasp the true form of his attack again! Thunder! Franklin Bites deflected. Oops, Paula's shield disappeared. Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please grant us power. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. A young woman in Dalam woke up from a dream in which Prince Pooh died, when she began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends, along um, with the others. Pooh, you went through a lot to undergo your training and learn all these moves. 452 damage to Gigas. Pooh attacks. Yes. Keep attacking. Ooh, a smash! Gotta get one more in for the ending, Gigas. Come on now, pray again, my... Oh, Christ, fire the heavy bazooka. It's not right, not right, not right! Friends, that's not right. Not right. Not right. Even Pooh's doing this in damage, and I didn't even get him all his equipment. Paul prayed again. Please grant us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, we ask for this. Suddenly, Frank recalled Ness's shining young face, and began to pray diligently for the safety of Ness and his friends. Ah, uh, the Mafias, they're on our sides now. It's good to know that he I haven't betrayed the Frankie Mafia. Damn, Frankie, you alone do a lot. <laughs> Keep it up, my comrades. We cannot give in as long as we have our friendship together. I feel good. Ness, go back. You cannot grasp the true form of attack. Ow. I solidified. I gotta heal Paula. I was able to move. Poe attacks. Jeff fired the bazooka, and Paula prayed again. 
please grant us power. Speed this prayer to all the people over the earth. <laughs> Jeff nearly died. Suddenly, Nessa's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. So, oh, hundred damage! Ha, 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 ha. Oh dear! What the hell's going on? This is scary as hell. But awesome. It hurts, it hurts! It's not right, not right, not right! I'm... Uh, the... Can't grasp his attack. Didn't work. Ah, sorry, Pooh. Jeff fired the heavy bazooka. Paul Frey from the bottom of her heart. I can't think of anyone else, someone, anyone. Please help us. Paula's call was absorbed by the darkness. Oh dear. He's becoming more and more unstable! This is going quite bad! Keep raising our, uh, keep raising our defense now, Jeff! Oh, God. oh! It hurts, it hurts! Freds! You cannot grasp the true form of his attack! Didn't work! Yeah, the Knight Pendants and Earth Pendants do this to him. Call up right from the bottom of her heart. Someone, can you hear me? Please give us strength. Paula and her friends' calls touch the heart of a. In pray for the kids, having never heard of them before. Three thousand damage. <laughs> oh dear. And kept praying. A gentleman's dude is never done. Seven thousand damage. Ron kept praying. Eleven hundred damage. Jesus. Ryan kept praying. Yes, dear viewers, Tony asks you for your name just for this. And needless to say, I'm not religious. I don't believe in anything. But this is the power of gentlemanity at its finest. You hear this, Gigas? You could not defeat a gentleman and four children. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. Yes, no, I won't. It's going to seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. It's good that, that we will see each other again. Alright, I'll be seeing you. So now, which one of us do you think is the cool guy? All I know is I'm not gonna see you again, Pokey, until Smash Bros. in the subspace emissary, so... Oh dear. This is quite horrifying! I'm entering Silent Hill again! the game. I guess a gentleman's prayers are too strong. Hmm. Ah, my home. My family. The robots are all outside now. The war against Gigas is over. Gray Man has been defeated. It's time for our tired spirits to return.
quite a journey. Uh, we're all back in Saturn Valley. Ah. Uh, thank goodness. Souls are certainly a hard thing to lose. I'm trying to keep this as serious as possible, dear viewers. Though this does make me think of Yu Yu Hakusho as embarrassing as that is to admit. Everyone's alright, it appears. Ah, here I come. Sorry, my friends, it appears I took the blunt of that battle. <laughs> I'm amazed I kept everyone alive throughout it. No one had any PP left, though. <laughs> hey, guys, we did it! Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Ness, Paula, Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized that this power as a child. PSI farewell, now! I'll see you again someday. Goodbye, Prince. You were great. Cool ninja vanish. Oh, oh, presents! Uh, Jeff, what are you doing to her? Oh, what is this? Paula, Ness, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I will bring you my evil toaster. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Antonuts. I mean, from my dad. So, it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs> he looks happy. Have fun making up for all those childhood times, Antonuts. Ness, will you escort me home? Sure thing, Paula. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Come on, Paula. Let's, let's see what's in the presents. Let's open the present. There's a letter from kids inside. Let's read it. The letter from kids. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. <laughs> uh, me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Pole Star Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Polestar Preschool. I'm throwing this out there, Paula. I am not allowing you to take a bag of Dragonite to children. It's a letter from Mom inside. This one's to me. Let's read it. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat steak as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy King and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Let's open the present. There's a letter from Tony inside. Jeff, I think this is for you, but you know what? I'll pill for it. Dear Jeff, everything's really great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way, but instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in Winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful faces. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Whoops. See, this chance of Gus gaining victory of the mon with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has proved a 1% chance that Gigas fails. I just must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. It's time for us to escort her home, dear viewers. I could teleport there, but there would be no fun in that. I believe that this lass, this girl, who's accompanied us from almost the beginning, at least a good 80% of our adventure, or hell, probably 87, deserves the proper escort home from a gentleman. What kind of man would I be to just toss her out like I wanted her gone immediately? She was a good partner. Everyone was. It was quite the adventure. It started out so vigorously. But, like all good adventures, at the end of the day, you must go home and hang up your hat, say goodbye to your friends, let them take their toys, go home, 
sit down, have some delicious steak, get go to bed, be tucked in by your mother, and be whispered farewells until the next morning when you can play again. Uh, it's such a beautiful game. I have to say, I did not expect to get anywhere like this. I, I've gotten five game overs in this game, and I find them. Oh, I found myself just enjoying them. There's the coffin. Uh, maybe this was not the best escort. I just found myself enjoying this game. I've had funny moments. Jeff getting heat stroke inside somehow. I just enjoyed it all. Well, somehow. I don't know why. Even the parts that got me angry, I found myself enjoying immensely. Maybe I'm just sick like that, dear viewers. I love this game so much. I will always enjoy playing it. I will not play the third or the the next game or the prior game, though, immediately. Gigas' death is brought upon peace. No monsters are existing anymore. I have to concur that much, dear viewers. There will not be any Let's Play of Mother 3 or Mother Zero due to, well, this ga the games are all big, but that's just me, dear viewers. I can't handle those big games because they are both bigger in their own regards than I am able to handle immediately after this. I had fun playing this. I'm now at 19 subscribers. I have nearly had a thousand channel views. I never thought I'd hit this point, and I'm happy for it. I'd like to extend my gratitude to anyone watching this. Thank you so much for enjoying the Let's Play. I'm glad. I never thought I just... It's just hard to believe. I just enjoy what I do. That's all I want in the end. Fun. And playing with my friends here? It was all fun. I've done... It's just... Hard to believe that I went from just one Nintendo 64 game to multiple Let's Plays of various games. I never thought I'd get past Paper Mario. Sneaky and Boomer were there to help me, though. Thank you, Bailey and Joe. You're always there and reliable. Sometimes I question the trade-off, but... Either way... We're here. Let's go inside, Paula. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. You were a faithful companion. And you will always be remembered. Let's head home. The towns are peaceful. Nothing is wrong. Ever dread. Uh, it is a shame he had to lose his life in such a manner. But... Everything was for the good of mankind in the end. There are only five or three... Currently, God knows that might change shortly. And we, well, like I said prior, I think it's time for us just to head home, shall we? And I never got to show the bus music, but you know what? I'll be living with it. I tried my best to point out the details of what was switched from the Japanese version to the English American translation. I know this took a lot of combined efforts to get this game onto the virtual console market as is, because beforehand, the only way to play this was on emulators, which is where its development came from. I don't have anything against emulating. I will have to emulate when I do inevitably play the Mother 1 and 3 games, but when I play those with emulators, it's because I have no choice in the matter. At all. I don't hate emulating, I don't can't really alter it. I will do it if I have to, and hell, I have no choice a lot of the time. But it's just me, dear viewers. And you know what? I'm happy. I'm here sitting here with a smile right now. Nearby, I have a, few, a Tootsie Pop I'm gonna eat to celebrate this. I would get a bottle of wine. I'm 19 now, but... Mm. Either way, at the end of the day, we had to come home. Our friend's all gone, our day tired, our father busy at work for another hour, and mom waiting for us with some steak. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all, your chats with people you've met on your adventure are finally over. 
please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'm going to look at it with you. Goody, my brother is back. You've got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork, he York. If you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Don't get freaked out. Did Escargo Express my old company help you? I've saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing sometime. You also got a new girlfriend? Your adventure must have been pretty good. Do you need help with anything other than your schoolwork? Nope. Okay, you relax now. Thanks, Tracy. You're a wonderful sister, and I deeply am thankful for Escargo's service to me. such a good thing to be home. It feels so relaxing. I don't know why. The endgame music. Everything. Either way. Hello, King. But the dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I know what day you guys save the world. Oh, yes. I have to do one more thing, Mother. Sorry. Ah, it's your dad. To get to the next level. Ha ha ha! I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely. But I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. I'll see you at home then. All right. Hi, Mom. Yep, let's do this. Now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. Thank you, Mother. Yep, dear viewers. Time for me to rest the game pad aside. Oh, well that's one way to ruin the moment, sorry. Couldn't go with what, one moment without fucking up still. Yes, we're at the ending. I enjoyed playing this. It was great. Everything. This game's story. It may be very old, but it holds up as one of my favorite RPGs. I will always love it immensely. But I've said that so many times over the course of this fun adventure. I'd like to thank, well, to start off Zaira for making my first real outro artwork. I appreciate PK Magics as well for making the in the preview PNGs, but like I said, things came up. I'm, I hope you get the feeling better, Isabel. I really do. As for Sneaky and Boomer, Bailey and Joey, you two, you two always are there to help. You know you always get the credit. I know I cost you 50 bucks toward the end of this game, Sneaky, but hey, that's just how it is. Don't make bets with me. You know I'll win. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't win half of them. Uh, I didn't bet on the Super Bowl for this very reason. Either way, beyond and beyond my horrible singing, I'm glad you all stuck through to watch. This is a fun game. I loved it. But like I said, at the end of the day, you gotta put your toys away and take some rest. Like always, dear viewers, with thanks aside, I hope the you enjoy the next Let's Play when I get to it. But for now, I'm going to take a break and let you enjoy the credits. Have a good day and take care, dear viewers. From my gentlemanly heart to yours, goodbye.
We meet again. Let's hope this is some get a no adventure. A, a letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It's addressed to Ness. There's no stamp and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, Come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. That bastard. I'll hunt him down. The end. <laughs>